Welcome everyone, Mike with Bowers Barbecue, coming to you today from my backyard. Now, every year at Christmas and birthdays and pretty much anytime anyone wants to give me a gift, no doubt I'm giving some barbecue rubs. So I've amassed a pretty big collection. Now, I'm not complaining, I really appreciate people think enough of me to, to send me rubs, but sometimes I, I get a lot of them. And the number one rub I get every single time is this right here. Special so today, we're gonna see if special is actually worth it. But first, we've gotta start the fire. Okay, so the Shirley is up to temp. We're gonna go ahead and prepare these uh, ribs today. I'm actually doing ribs as well as a um, pork butt. Pork butt's already on. These ribs are awful. They were $15, but check this out guys. Now I know why. Um, this is more about the rub than it is the cook. Um, so we'll, we'll get some flavor from the ribs. We'll get a little flavor from the, um, the pork butt. I think we have a pretty good window, but man, this is a, this is a piss poor rack of ribs. I swear grocery store meat is getting bad, y'all. I may have to find a, an online butcher, or sorry, going to my local butcher because grocery stores just aren't cutting it anymore. All right, that's all I'm gonna do there. I don't think there's much hope for this. Actually, I'm gonna cut this off. I have a lot of wasted meat, but I'll make good dog treats. Yeah. Okay. No binder today. We're gonna sprinkle this a little bit on the back side here. I don't remove the membrane when I'm cooking at 275. Today I'm cooking at 275. I just don't think it's necessary and it's kind of a pain in the butt. <laughs> Check this out. God, this is awful. Absolutely awful. I'm glad I had that pork butt because these ribs, who knows what's going to happen. It's what I hate about meat. Sometimes you can't see how bad they are when they're the package at the grocery store. If you guys have a, your favorite online butcher, let me know in the comments below. I know a lot of you guys have had success with Porter Road. I may have to, to give them a try. All right, we're gonna let this set here for about 10 minutes. Let the um, seasoning absorb into the meat, then we'll get on the on the Shirley. All right, let's go ahead and get these ribs on the Shirley. We're gonna put them on the middle rack, the thick end facing the airflow. It comes up from this side. Bunch these together so it gives you a little bit thicker rib. Let these things cook. Okay, these ribs have been on for two and a half hours now. Trucking along between 275 and 300. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do the Chud flip. Watch Chud's barbecue. You know, he takes his ribs and flips them over. We're gonna try that. I'm gonna give you a look at where we're at right now. Not bad color. Um, a little dry right in here, but that's, that's all right. But we're gonna flip these over and let them run for about an hour, upside down. <laughs> all 
All right, so as we're waiting for those ribs to, to finish cooking, if you get value of this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so. My goal is to get 9 million subscribers, and I cannot do that unless each and every single person who watches this video hits that subscribe button. Absolutely means the world to me. Doesn't cost you a penny. If you make sure you miss a single video, hit that notification bell. All right, these have been on for an hour upside down. Let's take a look. Crisp up pretty nicely. This looks pretty good. Nice juice. It's starting to come around pretty good. I say these probably get about an hour or so to go. All right, I'll see y'all when these are done. We're not gonna wrap until, until the rest. All right, the ribs are done. We're gonna go ahead and wrap them up here. Colony drips, a little dark, but still look pretty good there. I'm impressed with that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and sauce these and wrap them and let them rest for about an hour in the oven until it's time for dinner here. As far as sauce goes, I'm using something that a friend of mine from high school sent called Mob Sauce. Saw that he actually sent something to Brad Robertson over at Chud's Barbecue and he seemed to like it, so I'm gonna test it out myself here. There we go. A nice little glaze here. Now I do want to try that rub without sauce, so we'll do that on the pork butt. Let's see how that special works out that way. These ribs are such bad shape. It's gonna need a little bit of sauce. Wind's no joke. All right, these are wrapped up. Get a little in the oven. Be back in an hour. All right, these ribs have rested. Let's take them out of the foil and see what we got. Pretty good to me. Check those out. Check it out. Looks pretty good. There we go. Looks pretty good to me. Check out this one here, man. Look at how juicy that is. Looks absolutely amazing. All right, let's dig in. All right, let's see how these ribs taste. Not too bad. So it says on here, it's got salt, pepper, garlic, paprika, sugar, and onion, and chili powder. I don't get any of the sweet. I get a lot of the chili powder and the onion in that. I don't know what I think, guys. Try about that mob sauce. All right. Mob sauce is pretty good. I like that. It's um, not really sweet. Little kick. I like that. All right. Let's take some of this pulled pork. So pretty hot. But I can get some of the bark on there. Pretty good bark on this pulled pork. The video is more about the ribs than the pulled pork. This is kind of an afterthought. But I want to try it on a different application. That was really good. 
All right, I want to try that mob sauce on the pulled pork. I really like this sauce on pork. I don't know if I'd like it on beef as much, but pork is pretty solid. All right, as far as the the video is concerned, do I think special is worth it? It's okay. It's um not my favorite rub by far. I um, don't know if I'd actually buy this myself, but for a gift, it's kind of nice to have in your cabinet. Kind of sparks conversation. People think it's funny. Um, I can say I've had some of the other versions. I think the bull is actually my favorite um, out of all of them. Special, shit, it's okay. Not my, not my favorite at all, but hey, most likely you would probably get it for free as well as a gift. So nothing wrong to have in your spice cabinet. I thank each and every one of you for watching. Uh, give this video a big thumbs up. Um, if you don't give it a thumbs up, I think all of your brisket comes out dry. I think that's, that's the rules. So um, you definitely want to hit that thumbs up button. All right. Until the next video, the fire is out.